Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Honesty by Pink Sweats on guitar. So for this song, if you want to play it at the original key, you're not going to need a capo, but if you do want to take it up a couple keys while singing, then you're more than welcome to put it on any fret that you like. So for this song, we're only going to need to learn two chord sequences with five chords total. So if I write out the sequences over here, the first sequence is going to include chords number one, two, three, four. And then the second sequence is going to include chords one, two, three, five. So chords one through three, you use in both sequences, but at the end of each sequence, you just change the last chord. And these two chord sequences are going to be used out throughout the whole entire song. So I'm going to start by numbering the strings one to six, one being the thinnest and six being the thickest. So for this first chord, it's a bar chord, but I found um, like bar chords are pretty hard and pretty advanced. And it usually hurts your finger to, you know, press down all the strings with just one finger. So what I found that works for me is just press down the strings that need to be played. So instead of pressing all the strings, you only press down the ones that you're going to play because this is just easier for me and it doesn't hurt my finger as much and the sound comes out more clearly. So for the first chord, we're going to be on the seventh fret. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven here. And if you see, there's going to be a dot here. It's the second dot from the beginning. So right here, this is your seventh fret. So you're going to need to have seventh fret on your sixth string, fourth string, third string, and your second string. So again, you can play this with the bar chord, which is just having your first finger all the way across all the strings of the seventh fret, or you can just press the strings individually. But what I like to do is press each of the strings individually. So for this chord, you're gonna need to press down the seventh fret on the sixth string with your index finger, seventh fret on the fourth string with your middle finger, seventh fret on the third string with your ring finger, and seventh fret on your second string with your pinky finger, like this. And the plucking pattern here is going to be you pluck your sixth and then fourth and then second and third strings together. So it's going to sound like this. Again, you pluck your sixth and then your fourth and then second and third together. So. So the second chord is actually really easy. You keep down your ring finger and your pinky from your first chord, if you do use my fingerings, and then you just have to move your index finger and your ring finger. So it's gonna be seventh fret on the fifth string, sixth fret on the fourth string, and then the seventh fret on your third and second string that you had from the first chord. So you just move your ring finger and your index finger. So you're gonna pluck your fifth string and then your fourth string and then second and third string together. So it sounds like this. So if I put the first and second chord together, so for the third chord, we're going to need to use a bar chord, but it doesn't go across all the strings. It goes across only five of them, so it makes it, you know, a little bit easier, but I think this one's going to require the most practice. So for the third chord, you're going to need to press fourth fret on the fifth string, sixth fret on the fourth string, fourth fret on the third string, and that's held down with your bar chord right here, and then 5th fret on the 2nd string. So for this chord, you're going to need to pluck 5th string, 4th string, and then 2nd and 3rd together. So I'm going to put the first 3 chords together. So the fourth chord that we're going to learn completes the first sequence and we're going to be down on the second fret. So here when I was watching other YouTube videos trying to see what the easiest method was, everyone used a bar chord across the second fret. But I found this very hard for me and it usually hurts my fingers and the sound wouldn't even come out great. So what I learned is I can use my thumb instead of having to go across all the strings. So. For this one, you're going to need to press down 2nd fret on the 6th string, 2nd fret on the 4th string, 3rd fret on the 3rd string, and 2nd fret on the 2nd string. So for the 2nd fret on the 6th string here, instead of using your index finger, you can use your thumb. And then, 
you press your second fret on the fourth string with your index finger, third fret on the third string with your ring finger, and then second fret on the second string with your middle finger. So it's gonna look like a little triangle over here, and then you just add your thumb. And the plucking pattern for the fourth chord is sixth string, fourth string, and then second and third together. So. So I'm going to put chords number one through four together, and this is going to be your first sequence of chords. And there you go. So that sequence might take a little bit of practice, but once you get that down, the second sequence is going to be a lot easier because you use the same um, first three chords. So the last chord that we're going to learn is just a continuation of the third chord, actually. So if we go back to the third chord, it's going to be the fourth fret on the fifth string, sixth fret on the fourth string, fourth fret on the third string, and fifth fret on the second string. And then you pluck the fifth, fourth, and second and third together. Right? That was the third chord that we learned. The fifth chord that we need to learn is just a continuation of this chord right here. So what we need to press down is um, fourth fret on the fourth string. So what I like to do is just slide down my index finger one string. So now we have to bar across the first four strings, not the first five strings. So the fourth fret on the fourth string and then sixth fret on the third string. So I just like to move down my ring finger as well. And then fifth fret on the second string. You just keep that ring finger there. And then you just add your pinky sixth fret on the first string. So what I would suggest is just practice your third chord transitioning into this fourth chord right here. And then for the second sequence, so we already learned chords one through three, and then this is the fifth chord right here. So you play the first three chords that we learned from sequence one, and then you just end with this chord, and that's your sequence two. So I'm gonna play the second chord sequences for you guys. And there you go. So now I'm going to put the first sequence and the second sequence together. enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions at all you can leave them in the comments down below i'm gonna be doing a cover of this song on my instagram so if you guys want to go check that out i'll have my instagram in the description box below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys for the next tutorial mm -hmm.